All right. Okay, good afternoon. Did everybody have a good lunch? Did everybody eat a lot? Who's getting sleepy? Who's having the Hawaiian stroke? Symptoms, yeah? Well, you're in the uh, perfect place, because uh, today it's going to be a very interactive presentation. We're going to learn how to feel better in six minutes. Who would love to feel better in six minutes? Raise your hand. Awesome. Now, um, who here has uh, pain in their body right now? Raise your hand. Yeah, almost everybody. Uh, any uh, back, lower back pain, <coughs> neck pain, shoulder pain, <laughs> pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, if it's on the left side, it's some a woman that's a pain in the ass. If it's on the right side, it's a man. So anyway, um, my name is Jonathan Sugai, and I am a uh, massage therapist. I practice shiatsu. I've been practicing for 18 years now. Uh, my family practice, uh, I work with my, uh, my dad, my sister, and my mom, called Shiatsu Therapists of Hawaii. Has anybody heard of us before? Oh, uh, yep. Did you ever come in to see us? We just heard of us, yep. It's been around a while. Uh, we, uh, we work with a lot of working professionals like yourselves, and uh, we help people with uh, relief pain, with uh, lower back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, stress, and uh, we are, are very effective. We deliver results within the first treatment. So uh, it's uh, really fulfilling to be able to help people in that way. Now today, um, what I want to share with you is some stretches that we started to use within the last year. And um, they work very well. Because um, when I, uh, you know, during my career, I actually didn't really believe in stretching. Um, one, I thought, eh, you know, I was younger. <laughs> I'm in my late 30s now, so I'm getting, I'm feeling my age. And two, I didn't have any stretches that worked. But fortunately, uh, within the last year, I found some stretches um, that caught my attention. I saw it on YouTube. And I started to play around with it myself, and I started to test it out on my clients. And to my, uh, to my surprise, it, it works really well. And I could tell. I would teach my clients the stretches, and um, the ones that were keeping up with their stretches, I could tell by how sore they were when they came back for their follow-ups. So um, that really caught my attention, and it actually made my work much easier. And then, of course, for the clients, you know, their lives were improved because they were actually able to take care of themselves in between. And so um, uh, earlier this year, I'm good friends with uh, Joey. Uh, Joey. Uh, Shibata or is it God? Uh, Garza? Garza. What does she go by? Garza, yeah. Garza. Um, friends with Joey. Who's friend? Who knows Joey? Yeah. And I, I shared with her these stretches, and so she said, hey, you know, I work with all these uh, safety professionals, and we have a workshop coming up. Uh, love to invite you to, uh, to share. And I thought, hey, um, I would love to do that. So uh, today we're going to learn three stretches. Uh, and it's going to be very interactive. We're actually, um, I'm going to teach you the stretches, so you'll get to actually experience them today. And then um, I do have the videos posted online, so I'll give you the link and uh, you'll be able to uh, <coughs> practice, because it does take some time to master. But uh, I can guarantee you that if you do them as instructed, you will feel a difference today. Who's in for feeling better today? Yeah? <laughs> awesome. Okay. So uh, let us begin. Now, since I don't have the slides, we can skip all you know, some of the other stuff. So I need um, a few volunteers who would like to uh, volunteer for the first stretch. We're going to be working with stretching your feet. Who has sore feet in this room? Anybody? Yeah. So go ahead, come up. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna use a tennis. 
tennis ball. Okay, so we're going to demonstrate it first, and then everybody, um, I have a bunch of tennis balls, so whoever wants to try it, can try it out. Okay, so the first stretch is uh, going to be for your feet, and we're going to use a tennis ball. Okay, so we're going to be um, massaging the plantar fascia of your foot. Okay, has anybody ever had plantar fasciitis? Raise your hand. Painful, yeah? Yeah, it comes from uh, standing on your feet all day, and what happens is your body gets a little crooked, so then there's too much pressure in one part of your foot. And that's because of just, you know, overuse, you your feet a lot. So that's why actually all the people who are uh, getting standing desks, yes, that'll help, but if they stand all day, they're gonna just create a new injury. So you really wanna do both, sit and stand. <laughs> sit and stand, because, yeah. There's a lot of people in your industry, they're on their feet all day and they got problems. Yeah. And then there's people who are on the other end who are sitting on their butts all day and they got problems, yeah. So this will help both. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. So let me uh, show you first. Okay, so we're gonna massage the foot, but let me show you what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna reach down to my toes. I can uh, reach to my toes, yeah. And you can see my hands are pretty, my arms are even with each other. Now the fascia in the foot is connected to the rest of the body. So when I massage the foot, it's actually gonna loosen up the rest of the body and what you're gonna see is there'll be a difference in my arm length, okay? So let me show that to you first. So every stretch is gonna be about one minute. That's why one, one, and then there's uh, the two Should other stretches. Uh, let me do it first. Okay. Plus, that eats up a little more time since I have more seconds. I can take my time. Okay, so uh, we're not going to do it for the full minute for me, but uh, this is what happens. Oh, you see the wow, you can yeah. see the difference. So, just massaging my foot, and I had a nice picture of why, but anyway, the, the, the fascia is connected through the rest of the body. Just massaging the foot already creates a difference in length in my arm, so it actually even loosened up my shoulder. So some of you may already notice just doing this stretch, just massaging your foot, you may notice your shoulders will uh, loosen up a bit. Okay? So why don't you go ahead and try it? So I warn you, I'm very flexible in Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So you well, want actually, me to yeah, show yeah, it yeah, yeah, first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try it. First of all. Okay, good. So, uh, yeah. so I'm not content for That's this. okay, just do it. Yeah. If anything, I you know I know it works on me all the time. So <laughs> I'm a little lopsided, so I'm gonna go do the other one. So let's just do one minute. Does anybody else wanna join? seconds and then yeah really actually push harder than that. push hard yeah there you go so actually let's wait a little longer I want you to really go into it give it go for it yeah. go for it 40 seconds 
20 seconds for YouTube. Do you feel, what do you feel? Yeah, are you feeling some sore spots? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, the trigger points are where electrical energy has actually built up in your nervous system. Your brain and your nervous system, it's electrical. So literally, charges are building up in your body. Who here has had a massage before? Yeah. And who here has jumped when they touched a sensitive spot? Yeah. Yeah. That's actually where stress energy and emotions, so stress emotions have accumulated in that part of your body. Okay. Go ahead and uh, try reaching for your toes. Yeah. See if you feel a difference. Can you feel a difference between the right side and the left side? Yeah. Yeah. Right side is a little easier. longer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. How does it feel? Feels good. Feels good. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and do the other side. All right. If anybody else would like to try, uh, we'll spend a couple minutes. I have more tennis balls. Anybody? Raise your hands if you want to give it a shot. No, you don't. You can just go off to the side. No, standing up. Okay, who else? I have, I have a bunch. Yeah, you, just, you don't have to come up and see. For those of you who are shy. But I want you to experience it. Yeah, it's so easy. I've still got a few more balls. Yeah. Anybody else? Two more balls, and then you can you can uh, share. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So do uh, one minute per side. Count to sixty. And then uh, try bending over and see if it makes a difference. Oh, good energy. Yeah. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. And step harder.
signals, you know, if it's like getting worse, like actually, when he was using a golf ball. Yeah, do you want to describe what you were feeling when you were doing it? Uh, yeah, the pain, and then what is it? It's just pain. Yeah, so he felt worse. Yeah, but he was using a golf ball. And then now you use the tennis ball. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a trigger point. That's where an electrical charge is built up. So you want you you'll find that it'll it'll smooth out after time. Yeah. If you use a golf ball, it just got worse. If you use a tennis ball, you'll find that it'll smooth out. Okay. Excellent question. Yeah. If you have any, since we're kind of informal today, if you have any questions, you know, please raise your hand. Um, you can. It's more effective if you stand up and really give it. So you know you do want to take a standing break. So it's a great way to actually get the most value out of your break. But you can, you can, you know, while you're working, you know, give you something to do. Yeah. But definitely uh, do it standing up when you can. So ideally, at least three times a day. Okay. So the next stretch, um, we're going to stretch our calves, our hamstrings, and our shoulders. So I need a couple volunteers. So I'd like two volunteers. Okay. Come up. And then you raise your hand. Alright, come on up. Okay, now this one we need a wall. Okay, so um actually uh, oh you want to join in too? Yeah. yeah perfect. And you got shoes. Okay, so good. We'll dem demonstrate. Okay, so actually uh Probably all want to stand up, and then some of you want to come on the stage and make sure you climb up safely up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. You 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 can keep your shoes on. You take your shoes off because then we can demonstrate the path. And then yeah, you two keep your shoes on. Hi, Facebook. to see but we'll make do okay so all you need is a wall and what we're gonna do is you uh, dorsiflex your foot meaning you put your foot up against the wall this knee is locked this is the leg we're stretching the left side your opposite foot is you want to make sure you're at least hip width apart you want a nice wide stance because if you have a nice wide base you're more stable if you're narrow you're gonna be unstable so you want to do wide, and about five or six feet back. Six of your, five or six of your feet, not, not actual. <laughs> so it's relative. Okay, so knee locked, dorsi, foot dorsiflexed, and then you tilt your pelvis forward, where you basically you stick your acoli out. Okay? You're going to feel a nice stretch right down the hamstring, back of the knees, and the calves. Okay? Then you put your hands up as high as you can, and you want to, Kind of lean in and let your body hang off the wall. 
and this is going to stretch your shoulders. You lean in, and then um, by anchoring into the wall, it pulls your arms up. It lifts your uh, shoulder blades up. And then it's going to create more downward force for the um, hamstring and the calves and the back of the knee. And this is what helps for back pain, because back pain comes from a buildup of stress in your legs. And then your back is the part of your body that bitches at you. <laughs> and so the back gets blamed. We shoot the messenger, because that's the easy thing to do. But when we actually treat for back pain, it's actually a buildup of stress in the hamstring, back of the knees, the calves, and the quads. So this stretch will address the back. And take care of some of the front, but I have one more stretch that addresses the front part. Okay, so you do that for one minute. And uh, you'll notice you'll really feel where the tension's built up in your body, and you want to feel it. You have to feel it, because what it's doing by stretching is it's bringing up all the stress that just went unconscious. So that's why you'll start to feel things. Because our body, you know, our brain and our body is designed for survival, so it creates a disconnection. Uh, by stretching, we actually have, get to feel where it is, and then by breathing and then adding some movement, we're actually helping the nervous system to unload. And then you're going to feel the difference very quickly. Okay. And it seems like it's an awkward sensation. It looks awkward, but once you practice, <laughs> yeah. And again, practice. So you're going to get to try it out right now. Yeah. Okay. So here, once you line up, come on in. You do the right and left. Yeah, we're going to do right and left. Yeah. Okay, so for you, if you're barefooted, um, you have this little pad. Okay. So dorsal touch your foot. If you got shoes, perfect. Yeah. Lock your knee. Widen your stance slightly. Okay, yeah. Okay, good, good. Okay, now get your hands up as high as you can. Yeah, a little higher. Okay, anchor into the wall. Okay, keep your knee locked. Okay, cool. Uh, go a little higher. That side a little higher. Yeah. Okay, lean in. Yeah, go higher. Yeah. Lean in. Can you feel it? Mm -hmm. Can you feel it up here? Yeah. Down there. Yeah. Here. Great. What were you doing with your shoulders? So I was just uh, just kind of moving the shoulders, kind of like flap your wings. Yeah, <laughs> try that. And then turn your head left and right as well. It's like you're giving yourself a neck and shoulder massage. How's that feel? Feels really good. Feels really good, yeah? Yeah, so you, it's a way of giving yourself a nice neck and shoulder massage. Okay, so another uh, 30 more seconds. How you feel? Did you feel it? Feel tight. Feel tight. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's switch. Now I want you to widen your stance a little. Come back a little further. Turn your foot. Lock your knee. Okay. Put your hands up as high as you can. Okay. Push into the wall and then let your body hang. Get, get them up higher. Higher. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And you turn your head left and right. Yeah. Try looking left and looking right. Okay. Yeah. So the nice part is all you need is a wall. And then um, you either can do it with some footwear or um, I have pads. So anybody who would love to take home a pad, you can have them. I don't have enough for everybody, but if you want one. Go ahead and uh, help yourself. Who likes free shit? <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, I'll give you a couple minutes. Once you give it a shot, find a spot on the wall. I'm going to come by and uh, take a look. Yeah. And yeah, one minute is a sweet spot, but if you want to keep going, keep going. Come to 60. Actually, what I can do is take a lot of tripod, walk around the room. Hi. All right. So here we.
we are. Look at the safety professional stretching. Hi, Joey. Say Hi, hello Joey. to Facebook. Hi, Facebook. <laughs> oh, cool. Look at all these people stretching. Awesome. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, lock your knee. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, make sure your knee is locked. I want you to widen your stance. Go back further. Yeah, go back further. Is this stance okay? Yeah, yours is good. Yeah, yours is excellent. And then, yeah, look straight, look up, and then look, yeah, turn your head left and right. Flap your wings. Yeah, keep your head up. Keep your head up. Yeah, keep looking left and right. There you go. There you go. Awesome. Right. Okay, yep, count to 60 and then switch sides. Okay, once you widen your stance a little, yeah, go wider to the left. Yep. And further back. Further back? Yeah. Okay, yeah, there you go. Can you feel it more now? Yeah. Okay, good, yeah. And then flap your wings and look left and right. Yeah, look up. Oh, not no, straight ahead and then left and right. There you go. How's that feel? <laughs> <laughs> you feel a little more, yeah? Yeah. You want to make the most of your time? Both legs locked? No. Just the back one? Um, the one against the wall is locked. This one, you want slightly bent. Widen your stance a little. Yeah, widen your stance. There you go. Okay. Yeah. So you want to feel the hamstring on that side, back of the kneecap. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Don't push too hard, but ease into it. There you go. Perfect. That's fine. That's where stress is built up. Yeah, that's where stress is built up. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, love some shares on how everybody's feeling. Raise your hand. Yeah, what do you? What, what's the difference you're noticing? Um, well, like she said, with the shoulders feel a little bit more relaxed. Yep. Okay. A little bit more relaxed, less tense. Mm-hmm. Yep. And actually, um, has anybody tried touching their toes again? Stand those you want to find out, see if you notice a difference now that you. Sh Really stretched out your hamstrings and calves. <laughs> yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. It was a little more challenging earlier, yeah? Yeah. The first time I saw here. Yeah. Cool. That is awesome. So that one you want to do at least two to three times a day. One minute is a sweet spot. Um, I like to do mine for 90 seconds uh, if I have time. So... Um, that plus the, uh, the tennis ball plus the uh, uh, hamstring calf and shoulder stretch. And I will uh, give you a link. You can watch it on my website so you can review. Yeah, because it is a, a lot to uh, remember. All of <coughs> but the more you practice, uh, you'll get better at it. Now, uh, the last stretch for today is going to be for the quads and the front of the shoulder. Now this one, um, you may not, if you have any um, pre-existing knee conditions right now, uh, you may not want to do this one. It might be a little hard on the knees. Um, so if anything, you just do the first two. So for people who are, your knees are fine, this is actually going to help with the, the front and the back, uh, front, front of the body. So um, 
in back pain, a lot of pain actually builds up right over here, right in the legs. So is there anybody that has currently having any back pain and would like to see how much has built up? I need, I need somebody to poke at, basically. Who's willing for me to press on this area? Anybody? Oh, yeah. And you, did you say you, I saw me? No? You want a demo too? Okay, come on up. We'll have two people. I was gonna say no to free stretches. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah, free massage. There you go. So your feet look your head is Yeah. So let's adjust. Thank you for, would you like to hold it? Sure. Okay. Yeah. There we go. All right, and then you can you can uh, adjust. Okay. Cool. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I felt like my head was a little cut off. Yeah. It's like, oh, no slides. <laughs> okay. You raise your hands first. Uh, why, don't you, why don't you go on the table? Sit down. Okay, um, lay on your back, please. Are these shoes or no shoes? Uh, yeah, you can take off your shoes. Okay. So now, are you having any back pain, or tell me what your symptoms are? Tight. tight and when do you feel it do you like wake up in the morning it's real stiff getting out of bed after a lot of chores, lot of chores. <laughs> yeah what kind of chores washing dishes, washing dishes. dishes. yeah because yeah, you're standing over the sink yeah and doing that okay all right so go ahead lay on your back okay so because uh, she's standing a lot and she feels it like doing chores standing over the dishes the quads are necessary for her to hold up her back so if there's a buildup of stress in the quads, um, her legs aren't holding her up very well. So the back actually has to overwork. And that's the stiffness she's feeling. So the back is, again, the messenger. But it's, it's the symptom, but it's not the problem. The source of the problem is actually in the legs. And watch. Okay, I'm going to press right over here. It's going to be a little sore. Okay. Feel that? Yeah. 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 You can see her tense up, yeah? Now there's a nerve right over here. Uh, it's the femoral and the saphenous nerve. Let's check this. Out. So we're there. Yeah, you saw her make a face. Yeah. Yeah. You can see her body tensing. Yeah. It works well when they jump and scream. So she's, she's sort of the. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So, but you could clearly see sore. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead. Uh, stand up. So we're gonna end up stretching that part. So afterwards, we'll check that part and there'll be a nice difference. Okay. All right, now tell me about uh, your symptoms, like your lower back symptoms. What's going on for you? I have bulging discs in my lower back. Ah, okay, around L4, L5? Uh, yeah, L... Right around here. Yeah, yeah I think it is L4, L5 actually, yeah. 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 yeah, that's the usual spot. And again, um, if the legs are highly stressed, it's not holding up the back, so then there's gonna be a lot of wear and tear right over here. And that's why back surgery is actually very ineffective because they fix the problems here, but they never address why it even happened in the first place. Yes. So when people come in to see us, we do a lot of work on the legs because that's where actually all the trigger points are. So uh, may I check your legs? Yep. Okay, so go ahead, lean on your back. <clears throat> and it helps if you make a noise. <laughs> <laughs> So over there? Um, no, not too okay, bad. maybe not that leg. Might be the other leg. Which side do you normally feel it more on? The left side or the right side? My right side. Ah, okay. So, yeah, left side's probably the Yeah, that's more sensitive. Ow. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is the pressure I'm using. Yeah, it's not. Doesn't hard. hurt there, yeah? No. But if I do this, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's sore. Yeah, so a lot of stress is built up right over here. So, a lot of electrical charge. Okay, good. Awesome. So go ahead, stand up. So we're going to go back to the wall. Oh, um, did you take a pad? I need, we need the pads. I did not take a pad. Um, can we have two pads, please? We need to... Um, I'll give it back. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, actually, I wasn't supposed to give Thank them one that early, because we do need them. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure if you, you clean one, you get one back. Okay. okay, so let me demonstrate here. So again, we need the wall, our trusty wall. Go down on one knee. And then um, both knees are at 90 degrees in the start position. 
and then you're going to lean forward, and this stretches out the quad, and then you're going to take your arm forward, then backwards, and anchor against the wall. So then, just leaning forward stretches the quad, and then we add to it because it's connected through fascia, take the arm and back, and it pulls, provides additional pull. And then it actually opens up your chest, which actually helps your shoulders, because a lot of tension can build up over here. And it even helps stretch out your neck too, so actually it's <coughs> perfect that you have a neck and shoulder tension, this will help. Yeah, and you do this for about one minute, 60 to 90 seconds. Are you yeah. pushing as you're leaning forward yeah, now? Yeah, I am, I am leaning into it. Yeah. And I'm just anchoring against the wall. I, just, I don't need to pull that much to feel it uh, in the arm, but this is where I'm leaning. Okay. And then you just switch sides, lean forward, 60 to 90 seconds. Sorry, I messed up Yeah, yeah, we are here. Okay, so where's the other hand? Yeah. So go ahead, sit yourself up, sit yourself up. Do uh, one side. Make sure you're doing it properly. Yeah, so lean forward first. Yeah. Feel it in the quad. Yeah, take your arm back. There you go. Okay, so it's time for one minute. The head's good to you? Yeah, you can just rest your other hand. Where are you feeling it? Right through there, yeah. And then um, if you want, you can uh, tilt your head to the side. Oh, feel that? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Turn. Yeah, turn. Uh, and then, it doesn't turn anymore. Yeah. And then go, go back in the other direction. And then turn back again. Just keep turning back and forth. Oh, like lean or turn? No, no. Just go like this. Left. Oh. Left. 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 Yeah. Just go as far as you can. What it's doing, um, what you're, uh, what you're doing is uh, tapping into the stress and then allowing it to express this movement. So the movement actually helps release the tension. So when I'm working with my clients, when I'm pressing on their trigger point, I have them move their, their head. It's one of the new things I'm doing this year. Okay, one minute. That was one minute. That was one minute. Okay. I'm really stretching this side. <laughs> okay, let's do the other side, and then. We'll check on the trigger points. Were they at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, right. 2 o'clock? Yeah. She was more closer to 1 o'clock, yeah? Maybe one. 25 more seconds. Yeah, start off at 60. Eventually, um, as you do this more, you'll, your body's going to crave it. It's going to feel <laughs> thirsty for the stretch. So if you don't do it for a while, you'll be like, ooh. <laughs> And you'll actually start to, one thing you'll start to notice is you'll start to notice um, where the tension builds up in your body earlier. You actually become more aware before it becomes a full blown headache or before you throw out your back or, okay? Right? Pretty good, yeah? Right. So let's uh, go back over to the table. Let's check that right leg. This amount of pressure, so it, it now she can tolerate this pressure. Yeah. Yes, I am. Okay, but there still is more. I'm gonna I'm gonna apply a little bit more pressure. Okay. okay until you jump. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, to, I, to, I pushed in more, but at the original amount of pressure where she went, um, there was a you know there was a certain amount of stress with the sh 
uh, stretch that you did, it we unloaded it so you have more tolerance. You have more your window of tolerance is increased. Yes. So the stretches are good for um, releasing and unloading your nervous system, and then allowing your uh, body to be able to tolerate more stress and making sure that you uh, keep up with it. That's amazing. Pretty cool. Huh? Thank you. All right, let's check. Try you. you to be more safe because if your legs aren't working very well then yeah that can create some unsafe conditions I forgot to mention earlier that um, lower back pain in particular costs the industry anywhere between 87 and 100 billion dollars a year so not just a safety issue it's a cost issue for people like you know on, uh, falling and getting injured there's the workers comp issues the loss of productivity people being uh, unpleasant to be around that's that's huge it's uh, when you're carrying more tension, you just you know it's harder to be a nice person. <laughs> so, <coughs> how's that feel now? It's not as sensitive. Not as early. sensitive. Yeah. yeah, you can see she's actually smiling the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Let's check the other side. Yeah. 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 She's not flinching anymore. Okay, thank you for giving them a round of applause for putting themselves in front of you and on Facebook. Okay, so uh, I'll give you a few minutes. Uh, you can go ahead and try that stretch. Uh, for those of you who have a pad, give it a shot. And I'll come by and uh, coach you. Oh, excuse me. Give me the hand. Yeah, go, go forward and then, go and then slide up. back go as far up. as you can. Oh from the top. There you go, yeah. Okay. From the top. And, yeah. and, then, and then this idea, go forward. Yeah, lean forward, yeah. And then the rest of here. Just relax here. Okay. Yeah. 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 This link to this? Yeah, so that knee yeah, next to the wall, and the foot flat. Back. Yeah, lean forward first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then uh, we'll take your arm, go from the front, and then all the way to the back. There you go. Okay, how's that feel? Okay, good. Good. Awesome. Okay, how you feeling? Yeah, you feel it? Yeah. Good. Yeah. So just make, for those of you who aren't using any padding, um, just make sure that, you know, if you're on carpet, so this is not too bad, make sure you protect your knee. Put a towel or some kind of pad. All right, how's everybody feeling? Okay, what did, uh, I'd like some shares. What would you, uh, what did you notice on that last one? Raise your hand. Anybody wanna share? I got a good stretch. Got a good stretch? What did you, what did you feel on that last one? Um, well, I'm, I'm kind of flexible, but it still helps a lot in the shoulder. Yeah, you could feel the tension, yeah? The tension, and when I stop, you can Yeah, you feel lighter, yeah. yeah? More invigorated? Is anybody less sleepy, more energized for the rest of the afternoon? Yeah. So if you're feeling kind of sleepy, this is actually a good pick-me-up. Because if anything, you're going to feel the pain. But the cool part is actually that pain, that pain is actually fuel. It's actually fuel that you can tap into. So by, by stretching and breathing into it, you're actually getting energy out of it. So it actually will help energize you. So if you're looking to drink less coffee or just, you know, you need a pick-me-up, it's a good set of stretches to do. Okay? All right. And uh, go have fun with those stretches. Watch the videos. Uh, come see me if you want. And uh, look forward to...